So glasses on, glasses off. Should I maybe wear my glasses in every video from now on? Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos. So let's talk about conflict. Uh, in an earlier episode, we talked about creating forward motion, which was important to, to keep your viewers watching. And one very common way to create forward motion is conflict. Because conflict creates, it creates excitement. Um, it makes us wonder how it will get resolved. For example, let's say that you're in a room and you want to get out. If there's nothing stopping you from doing so, it wouldn't be very exciting, would it? So your challenge is to increase conflict in your videos. Um, that is, if it fits, your videos conflict might not be right for everybody so i want you to think about if it's a good idea to introduce conflict in your videos and if it is or maybe if you already use conflict in your videos then this challenge is for you so then we need to look at what a conflict consists of and a conflict is whenever whenever something stands in the way well in the way of what? Well, in the way of something that you want. So we need to have a goal and we need to have an obstacle. Suddenly, the audience has a reason to ask themselves, how will she get out? And now we have a conflict. And if you want to make it more exciting, then you can increase the tension between the two elements by, for example, empowering the obstacle and by increasing the incentive to reach the goal. Now she really has to get out. And the third component is the helper. And the helper is something that enables a character to reach their goal. And it can be anything. It can be a person, it can be a tool. In Portal, one of the helpers is the Portal gun. And, and the way I view it, the helper can have different effects depending on where it's used. I'm thinking that in games, the helper is especially important because it, it's what creates the whole game mechanic uh, and therefore can make or break the whole game. And I mean, if the player is made to feel that it's impossible to clear a stage because they haven't been given the means to do so, then they will probably give up. Not much excitement there. However, from a story perspective, the helper can actually be purposefully hidden in order to create tension. Let's say that someone is about to die and it seems that no one will save them and then suddenly, from nowhere, someone comes to their rescue. Now suddenly we have excitement because things seemed impossible. However, no matter if it's hidden or not, it has to be there because in order to win, you have to at least be given the opportunity. So then what does this all about conflict mean for you as a YouTuber? Well, there are lots of ways for you to add conflict and therefore adding forward motion, keeping your viewers watching. You can, for example, add a competitive element to your videos. You can saturate already existing conflicts, for example, in a game or you can just use the elements of conflict to tell better stories. And also, have you ever experienced watching a Let's Player trying something over and over again, but keeps failing, getting more and more frustrated? Now, in those situations, when they finally make it, then that is a much more awesome moment compared to if they just made it on their first try. 
And that is the element of conflicts in the works. Uh, the more and more they try and the more and more they fail, the bigger the obstacle seems. And simultaneously, the more and more they try and the more and more they fail, the more it means for them to finally make it. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Bye.